Well guys, we're out here today. It's a damn chilly morning. Minus 38 this morning. Right down to minus 50s with the wind chill here today. She's cold. We're out on the trap line here first thing this morning. Come over here, looks like I had something break out of this snare. It was right there, I believe. And then over here is a little more like business. Uh, except for the fact that this coyote looks sickly. So we'll take a look here. That's what, oh, she's frozen solid. But yeah, there's shoulder mites there. And uh, that's not worth a damn. So bush that coyote, set so goes back. Right up there is a better spot. So we're at the same bait station and uh, this is a, just a beautiful trail. Come through here, set right here. And that fox has caught recent. Because it's minus 40, we'll set that right there. Again, and get on with it. It's not what we want, but we'll take it all the same. Well, right on guys. We connected on a coyote here. That uh, snare goes right there. There's my reset snare, and here's my slightly below average coyote, but we'll take them all the same. It's still a good one. This camera, I can hardly keep it going in this weather, guys, really struggling. Right on, guys, another coyote off this bait. This is a nicer one. Pretty damn good looking coyote. So we got him off this trail. I was in such a fucking rush, I'd reset it, but I gotta get going. Well guys, I'm just running my wolf snares here on the screw. It warmed up a bit here today. I had this snare goes uh, right about there on the trail set. Over here, I got a coyote and it looks like the birds have got on him, which is damn too bad here. Damn too bad. See, I can see some fur around here. I don't know where it's come from though. Where did this come from, eh? This here, guys, is probably the second biggest coyote of the year. Like, it's a monster of a coyote. It's, it's huge. Probably gonna switch this ram off for a clean one because I got lots hanging around. This is a monster, monster coyote. They don't get much bigger than that. They really don't. I got me, I, de I only got one in the skidding shack that's bigger than that. That's for sure, it's huge. So I'm gonna switch this ram out and remake my set here in a second. So here's my beauty little reset here. That's a good trail. You know, it's just a skidoo trail. It hasn't snowed that trail still. Everything's using it, it's just a simple trail set. Wolves are down this trail. As for this coyote, I don't know where all this fur came from. Likely mice or some shit were on him, eh? Um, definitely not birds. I don't know even where they were chewing. It looks like a lot worse than it is, but the pelt looks totally fine. So still, fingers crossed, stupid fucking thing to say, but I haven't had one picked by birds yet. So right on. Well guys, another day in the bush. What can I tell you, we're heading out to hit the trap line. Just hanging out here, getting more than coffees fired up, ram charger fired up. Fuck, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's cold as fuck again, if you can believe that. It's just been 30 below, 30 below, down to 40 below here for a couple weeks, I think now. You know, I don't check the temperature, don't do me a damn thing good. I'm gonna do the same thing every day, whatever I wanna do. So, it don't. it's a fucking useless thing to me, but, Today we got this stupid wind. I know it's blowing all damn night and it's snowing can fuck off too, but this wind is a real killer. So hopefully we can get out of here all right. They're not fighting the snow again. So I have this nice set, it goes right here. It's hard, I don't have an anchor till way over there. So you can see how V's right, dead center, left and right. So I have to get it all the way here and Looks like we've paid off, it's paid off. Uh, let's set the camera up here, take a look. Okay, so let's see. It's a pretty decent one or not. Did we ever just catch it? Um, looks like a pretty big coyote. We've caught him since this morning and then it's been snowing like, just fucking painful, it's snowing. Like my morning routine, get up, 
hammer a few bush coffees, you know, check out my chickens. Try and drive out of the bush like fuck. I'm stuck six times today already. I'm just fucking wasting the day away. I do like to scrape this frozen blood off here. This bait is so damn good. You know guys, this is actually a, just a little bit below average coyote. It's a big old coyote actually. But we'll take them every day. Say that every time. <laughs> okay, so I don't show you this because it's fucking just painful. Holy fuck. And then I gotta watch it back. I can't fucking bear looking at this shit all the fucking time. I kid you not, it's probably the eighth fucking time I'm even more. I've been stuck like fucking 12 times today. Well guys, I'm afraid she's just not tremendously hot here today this is fucking thing centered yeah um this is the third coyote of the day is what it is for christ's sake but it's the first one that's gonna be coming home and it's a not bad not bad we'll take them it's actually not great but all the same, coming home. We're just getting started. Looks to be a big check, but I got bird problem there. I'll show you in a second here. 30 below, we're on the skidoo, and this cab is gonna freeze, so over and out. Well, guys, you know before, like I had that one bait, and it was always a hell of a time. You were just right off the hill like I am here, you can see. And it's open enough from above that things can come in. I got cherry picked here twice. It's been such a good year. I haven't had any picked this year at all. You know, I check things as frequently and consistently as as possible. But you start to forget about those previous travels and maybe I set this one in too wide open of a spot. But once they get it in their mouth and uh, get a taste for it, it can go to shit in a hurry. You got two that are back to back, like this one's here. The next snare is up there. So that's what's happened here. Two coyotes totally gone to waste. It's a very sad thing to see. Yeah, it sucks pretty bad, all right, but there's not much I can do about it now. You know, it's like literally the worst thing ever to happen. Don't do me any good thinking about it for any longer than I have to. Like I said, it's a good year, so we'll just keep giving her. We have so much snow out here on the line now. It's like, look how this, but look how this set is buried. You sure can't see the ram there. <laughs> well, guys, pulling down trap line today. More on that later, but. Here is only catch. This bait's coming down, my number one bait. More on this later. Just look at this mess. Like I am in here deep, lots of snow. This here sure don't look like the one we're looking for. But second catch off this set is just a top notch set. Oh, it is a coyote. It's warm here, guys. Eh? <laughs> Pretty darn nice one, too. Not a bad one. That's right on. So, maybe the last coyote for the year here. Trap line coming down, guys. Uh, we're just grabbing all these wolf rams and uh, get on with it. Okay, uh, dandy looking trail set here. You see where I had that snare? It's fired over there. We're uh, ripping around here. Nice day. It's too warm though. It gets to this low minus. It's ridiculous. It just soaks, eh? It sucks. Heavy snow, you know. It warmed up here. It's been real close to zero. A couple of days coming off 40 below for fucking a month. Getting her down cold again here in a second. This looks like a breakaway to me unless it really got snowed on. There's tension on that, see? When it's breakaway, Usually it's loose, but I think it's is not a catch. Yep. See, it's broke the breakaway here, and it's just caught here is why there's still tension on that. End of line, that's it guys. Okay, so the um, battery that runs this 
whole deal is in cab uh, in the rav charger there but here's a look at all the fur i got a lot of kites here to skin i haven't been here to get the fires going to unthaw them while my truck is broken and stuff it's like 20 or something there and you know there's a lot of fur in here all of a sudden like it's been a good little run for sure and there's there's just fur everywhere in here coyotes everywhere it's right on okay guys it's so good to be back at camp i just get a great feeling here i've been uh gone a few days i was um driving up here with the ram charger for a bit and then there was too much snow the truck's been stuck up here waiting on warranty part there's a video on that we'll go into better detail on that actually i haven't been at camp here a few nights and i've been just like not homesick but i just love it i don't know i was like this is my bed i'm a grown-ass man for christ's sake i like to sleep in my own place you know i don't like this otherwise like i well i don't mind it but i just really was missing the bush there you know the last little while anyway it's good to be back um okay so i pulled down my trap line there's a lot to talk about here it's a pretty big discussion um i've written it all down here so we're organized i'm not just rambling on but i definitely have some explaining to do talking to do now it's early january here so it's the earliest i've ever it's it's just early to pull things down here now what has happened this season we got a pretty good start at her it's been a good season you know we started later november this thing has been about over though since christmas a little bit before um it seems like we really did well and hammered the coyotes and uh really did well there for about a month come about december 22nd i'm um, christmas you can't get bait over christmas is tricky everything went dry and then it was a piss around here the start of january just nothing really going on we got all kinds of snow this season really has been going on a month it's been a weird season though it really has now um what it but it's been very good you know but there's been a lot going on um around here that i really feels like i've hardly put anything into this season it's crazy um like it, it really is weird because i really if we were slow getting set out i had things that were breaking i had uh snow problems right since day one like i had that big storm roll through here i think it was early december my road was fucked then this i had this camera i still haven't got my new one thank god i didn't sell the old one deleting all my footage well the time i spent trying to get that off and did that was a wreck too you know uh, I've had a couple wrecks. I got um, I got one I'm going to make a video on here pretty soon that's just gutting. But there's been so much going on here. Lots I'm not going to talk about too. But just take my word for it if you will. But it's just flown by. It really feels like I haven't put much effort into it. It doesn't even feel like I was in the skin and shack that long. It just flew by. We had fun. We got lots of coyotes. And now we're at this point. And I decided to pull it down now for a number of reasons we'll get into here. But I felt that it was not worth it. We were really going to have to fight it. Uh, it wasn't going to come as naturally as that first month where the coyotes are really moving. They're really traveling around the baits. You can really hit them hard there. Where now it's fighting through a lot of snow. We're going to be looking at coyotes at Ernest Prime. Um, and more difficulty harder to get bait out my routine is absolutely ruined like my commute is ruined now that i got these snow problems it's so hard to go trapping um so much of this is really hard to explain like it's really hard for me to do these things justice like i i forget that even like i realized i just posted this video uh of me breaking shit or whatever and i don't like i i'm not i i say all these things but still it doesn't come through like it's just so hard to explain. It's easy for me to say and make sense of, but I'll put this video. It's like, I got snow troubles, boys. Like, I got 10 kilometers of road here that's fucked. And I think I've said that. But, like, my driveway is 5 kilometers. And I and I try and explain this, but then I get one's comments, like, put some snow fence or, you know, why is your truck broken? It's like, it's so, it can be a little bit, I try and do my best, eh? 
Um, but yeah, anyway, so when the whole thing goes to shit, like when the road goes to shit, it's painful. I can't skidoo to my kai baits. They're so far away. They're 40 kilometers. I've said that before. I'm not, that's ridiculous. Um, another thing here is I pulled my wolf snares. Now, that's been something that hasn't been going for well for a while too. You guys will probably know. Like that first year I caught a couple... Uh, I had just built my cabin. It wasn't that established that I've been here. The last two years or whatever, I'm back and forth driving by my wolf bait. I don't trap it too far from my cabin. There's a lot going on here. You know, old trap lines, he's outside yelling in the dark there, you know, skidooing back and forth. Those wolves are just not coming in like they once did, it seems, here in the winter. I, they made tracks around here in November, and they were hanging out here in the summer. But I set the tr snares after that. There hasn't been a wolf track since. So it, uh, it's, it's frustrating. Like I like doing it. I would like to uh, chase after them some more. But it, it just don't actually make any sense. More on that. So I didn't think. I just really sat down and thought about it. And I'm someone who's usually too stupid to quit. And drag these things out too long. So it really does say a lot that I made up my mind on this actually. Like... Uh, before like last year I fought through it at more that like it wasn't worth it at one point you know but I just kept going and it's been like that a couple of years you know that's <laughs> I guess it's in my nature what I am definitely not and it's got to be understood I think for this and further things for my viewers because I try and explain the situation and my circumstances now I am not someone who can have a hobby I'm just not like the idea of retirement the fact that that uh in, uh, excites people just like it it's something I cannot make sense of and like the dog gotta be careful don't take it the wrong way hey like I'm not trying to upset anybody or piss anybody off or like whatever but like I love working like I just do like I don't like like I love trapping I do it's fun you go out there just amongst the wilderness and uh, doing something I love to do and skidooing around and I just love it and out in the bush you know it's fun it's fun but I don't really check all the boxes anymore like I'm not someone who can do something just for fun actually like I can go fishing every day I never go fishing I I like fishing it's but the, there's things that make more sense to be doing it's kind of the thing like I would get frustrated with myself. It's a weird thing to explain. And like, especially I feel at this point in my life, like everything is compounded, like the power. And especially at my age, like I go and I develop a cross section of knowledge, all these different things I'm taking on. And it's so powerful at a, such a young age, I think like doing all these different things. Um, but it's been just so good for me, you know, like, well, I've been doing this for a long time and what I've learned has been so substantial actually. Like it's so much more than just learning how to set snares and stuff, but about wildlife, about uh, r running a business like when I was a kid, right? Like it was a business, putting the work in, uh, learn oh so much. Oh my God. Like I can't even tell you. I can't even begin to explain how much I've learned being out on the trap line, just about life and everything. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like I've been thinking about this here for a minute and it's, it's crazy for me to think about. Like, you know, it's brought me to the bush for Christ's sakes. It's paid for a lot of the shit that I bought when I was really young because I was out there on the trap line doing something in the winter, uh, you know, working all the time as a kid too and stuff, you know, it's it just, it's just been right on. Okay. Like what I forever grateful i would just i just have loved the experience everything about it now i'm saying this it makes it sounds like i'm gonna quit trapping forever i don't know what the future holds every time i talk about the future uh i like just so much comes up i just look stupid and feel dumb about it because it, my plans change all the time but it's been absolutely incredible it is no longer has the financial incentive is a big thing now, don't make me sound like a greedy prick or anything like that sort. But when I was up here, like, you know, or when I was like 14 or whatever, saving up by a truck or more specific, when I was up here and shit broke, like, you know, I had no money. I was budgeting. Oh, my God. I was looking. I keep saying that. I was looking at my 
old books here you know i had to write down my budgets you know shit i'll take in some battery cores and go buy chicken feed and grow it was fucking ridiculous like i was shit broke and uh you know and uh christ almighty like you look at a 120 dollar 130 dollar coyote like that's a lot of fucking groceries like it was right on and i was making videos on that and it was so substantial for my youtube channel like this whole YouTube channel, it started off as me twisting wrenches, swearing, drinking beer, smoking darts. But then like it really took took off there when I was, uh, when I started doing the trapping stuff. Like that's how this got traction. It's whole deal and how it's got to where it is now. It's crazy. Like I, I keep, I'm thinking about this while I talk to you about this and it's blowing my mind and I've been here for all of it how much I've got from trapping, man. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. Like, here I am. All of a sudden... Okay, I better stay on track here. But, okay. This is a tricky thing to explain because I'm a private person don't like talk about these kind of things, okay? But we're going to make sense of it here, friends. You know, I want you to know what's going on. This is just a tricky conversation. But... It, this is a hard thing to explain, but all of a sudden this YouTube thing is just crazy. Like it's awesome, and it's no surprise. Like I've I've been this has been my goal to grow this and work on this, and I knew what was coming and everything. It's not too surprising, but it's awesome. Like it's an awesome thing. It really is. Uh, there's things I don't like about it, but all of a sudden it's a business. Like it's awesome. I love it, and like this year and what I had to do because it was the right thing to do is my videos are now the main priority around here. They really are and they should be. Okay. So this has not always been the case, but here now with my trapping videos, like I I'm going trapping, but the first thing I'm doing is making videos too. Like I'm doing that as, 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 as important. Like if I forget my camera, I'm driving back to get my camera before I go trapping. Like I've done this multiple times, drive two, three, that's how important it is. Like it's everything. And I got lots of things on the go, like lots, everything, everywhere. It's crazy, but it's just become this deadly thing, and it's so deadly. <laughs> so thanks, guys, for watching my show and following me around. Like I'm grateful. Fuck yeah, I am. Now the thing here is like my trapping videos. This started as a trapping channel. Now trapping is a shorter time of the year, and in the meantime, I just make these videos on me and my cabin, living in the bush, and all of a sudden that's taken over and become a bigger thing i don't want anyone to get upset here it's been harder to make i know i've actually always known that i would kind of hit a wall on this trap filming my trap and actually now that's it's a smaller audience but i did so well because there was so few people filming it like i all of a sudden was one of the biggest trap in channels there is which is fucking crazy <laughs> like andrew stanley was my fucking role model as a kid like i watched these videos over and over and over and over again and i just fucking loved him and i thought he was sick as tets you know and now all of a sudden i have a youtube channel that's the same size it fucking blows my mind like, i looked at this guy like i still do of course but it's it's fucking crazy so like wow anyway i knew it would kind of reach a point now the biggest point it actually reaches here for me i don't know is that i've been doing this f like four years film me out on the trap line here in the winter and it really is the same thing over and over again is what's really become difficult here it's like I set the power snare the same way. I throw the bait out the same places. We're in the same places. We catch the coyote. I put the camera in the same place. I show you the same way. I tell him it's yeah, it's a pretty good coyote. Take him every day. Throw it in the... Reset the snare. Now, I don't want to get this twisted. The YouTube ch To be successful, it is doing the same thing over and over again. Now, it, I'm not saying I've reached a point where that's, but it's it's more so for me than it is. Like, I know I could keep being doing good on those trapping videos, doing the same thing over and over again, but I, I'm getting frustrated with doing it. It's not me, but filming it over and over again. Like, it's the same thing. There's not really any progression to it. Like, it's like, okay, we do it this year. We get all the coyotes. We ship them off. We start again. It's There's not, I don't know. 
hard to explain, but it is tricky. And all of a sudden my audience is more, totally more the live in the bush stuff. So it's tricky. It's hard to get everyone switched over to trapping and go back and forth. It's actually not good for the show. Now that's tough to say. It's hard to say, it's hard to explain, but like you look at really successful channels, some are characters that can do everything and you just enjoy what, I know I'm a little bit like that, but to be it's doing the same thing. It's doing the same thing that's effective. Because if I was to do, um, this is this is more relatable, uh, trapping and the off grid, it, it's more tied together. But like if I did off grid six months of the year and then did, twisting wrenches, building diesel trucks the other six minutes of the year, it would be a disaster. I would end up losing all my viewers when I switch over. And this is a little bit what happened. And then you kind of have to gain them back. And it's, it's just a little bit funny. And now I know like last year I did myself, I kind of was digging a hole with my YouTube channel. Like I was so focused on trapping. I kept posting the same videos. I was losing people's interest. I was not as focused on my videos. And it was not as good, but man, it's all the same deadly. But that is kind of what it's become, which is tricky. Uh, it's tricky. Now you can do different things and be creative, but it, I think it's more to do with me than the inter. Do you, does that make sense, guys? So like, it's it's fucking awesome. Like life just excites the fuck out of me. It really does. Like everywhere you look, there's opportunity, there's possibility. I have so many ideas, so many things I want to do. Now, I've walked around looking at life this way. I just have become addicted, which isn't a bad thing, but just totally obsessed with the learning and progression in life. It's awesome. Like it's been so good here, man. Like being up here and I'm doing all these different projects and learning different things. It's just been unreal. Like I just feel so good about where I'm at. Like I'll do, I'm not, and I'm not really that great at anything, but I'll do, I'll do uh framing and electrical and this and that, and whatever else I'm doing up here. I'm working on trucks. I got this. I'm learning about the bush. I'm out trapping. I'm doing everything. And it's fucking awesome. Like I just, I'm just learning so much now. It, I really do believe it's better to be good at one thing and focus on that than try and do everything. I got stuck in that trap before. But being this young in life, for me, like having that cross section across the board is so beneficial. Okay, that's one thing I've gotten a little bit frustrated about with the trapping here this year. It's like I love it. I really do love it. But I... It's like I want to keep learning and doing new things and challenging myself I think is a big one. Now I could do new things and trapping and try and get better and but the incentive there is just not really there to me. I don't really feel like I have much to prove um, which is tricky but it's like there's things I want to do you know and uh, they're going to take a lot of time and I want to keep building and on these things and I don't know. I don't have, like, I love learning. Fuck, do I ever. Like, I read. I love that. It just gets me fired up. Gets me up in the morning, you know. And progression, too. Like, move on to, try and move on to challenge myself more and bigger things and stuff. It's crazy. Okay, so that being said, the trap line's down. It was the right decision. I know it is. Uh, but that being said, like, I don't really know. I didn't just pull the trap line to sit around all winter. But these next couple months are going to be tricky as to what I'm doing. Now, I'm definitely going to stay busy. The amount of things I have to research and get tied up, like I'm going to do my tax, all that shit. They're going to keep me busy till calving season. It's going to be tricky here not being able to drive in here for a few months. I'll be on the skidoo. More on that in my next video. As to what I'm filming, I'm not sure. I got a lot of videos I uh, have been mean to make. I will make. But I think there's going to be exciting things come up and I'll make some videos around here. It will be fun to make and exciting, but uh, I'm not exactly sure yet. But the, really, I want to get on to big things here. I really want to get on to big things. There's things I want in life that get me up in the fucking morning and are going to be deadly for YouTube and I want to do them. The problem is these things take so much time to research and I want to do that and I am doing that, have been doing that. But I definitely need something to be doing on the side. 
working on making videos and also doing the research at the same time keeping the motivation flowing getting things just mid you know guys like i am excited life is fucking awesome man yes there's everywhere you fucking look in this country there's just deadly things to do and it's a wonderful thing but yeah i got all kinds of fur here in a short time it's been good i don't know what the future holds guys i don't i know it could be uh, a break from trapping it could be the end of it for a while is the real truth of it i just don't know and i've been thinking about it for a while you know i was thinking about it last year i have trouble doing something just on the side eh? as much as i love to do it like it's hard to do because you have to be you have to be really into something i find for me like you have to have bait going you have to have snares made all the time everything it's just you're either in the rhythm or you're not and to do it on the side i'm not i know it so it's gonna be tricky i don't know i don't know guys i don't but that's okay it's not a bad thing uh life is good um just happy with everything you know so much i hope you got the just i think i did a pretty good job i know i'm long-winded here guys but that's about it what i wanted to tell you explain where we're at here now and keep giving her thanks guys i appreciate you all watch my videos following along everybody thanks for watching all the best to everybody